Hi and welcome everyone, I'm Gavin Lon. Now, I don't want to start any trouble here, like where a person wearing a C-sharp t-shirt walks into a pub where it's clearly inhabited by Python developers and feels threatened. This video will hopefully give you an idea of the differences and similarities between two of the most popular programming languages around today, C-sharp and Python. This kind of breakdown can perhaps help you, for example, with your decision as to which programming language to choose as your first programming language or which language is best for addressing certain requirements. Or hey, maybe you just prefer the look of one language over the other. Let's dive into it. C-sharp was developed by Anders Halsberg and his team at Microsoft. It was first released in 2001. I've heard Anders Halsberg say in an interview that the goal when developing C-sharp was to provide the power and expressiveness of C++ while also providing the rapid application development capabilities inherent in Visual Basic. Python was developed by Guido van Rossum in the late 1980s. Python was first developed as a result of Guido van Rossum being confronted by the shortcomings of ABC language, namely extensibility. So, he started work on this new language by integrating all the features of ABC language with new additional features, extensibility and exception handling. Python is noted for its easy to read syntax. It is also known for being an easy language to learn and write. The syntax is straightforward, which can result in fast development times. c -sharp and Python are both consistently ranked by reputable sources as in the top five most popular programming languages. They are both high-level programming languages. They are both general-purpose programming languages, meaning they are both versatile programming languages that can be used to develop a diverse array of types of applications and can run on a diverse array of devices. They are both cross-platform programming languages. They are both object-oriented programming languages but they are also multi-paradigm programming languages, where not only do they support object-oriented programming, they also support structured programming, functional programming, and many more. c -sharp and Python are both open source languages that can be leveraged for commercial use free of charge. Both languages have amazing community support. So these two titans have a lot in common. So why would you choose one programming language over the other? Okay, let's look at the main differences between c -sharp and Python. c -sharp is a statically typed programming language and Python is a dynamically typed programming language. What does this mean? Statically typed programming languages basically mean that once a variable is defined in code as a specific type, that variable's type cannot be changed in subsequent code without explicit typecasting code being run at runtime for this purpose. So within statically typed languages, the specific type for variables is determined at compile time. The static typing can result in better robustness of code as well as faster runtime execution of code. In dynamically typed programming languages, a compiler or interpreter assigns a type to all the variables at runtime. So the type of the variable is decided at runtime based on the values assigned to them. This runtime interpretation of types can result in slower runtime performance when compared with equivalent code that is statically typed. However, with dynamically typed languages, the developer has the advantage of not needing to learn about potential complex rules associated with a type system defined for a statically typed programming language. So this may lead to faster learning time and faster development time. With statically typed programming languages, the types are defined and checked at compile time. This means that at runtime, the types are not interpreted. They have already been established at compile time, which means potentially fast execution of the relevant code. Statically typed code can lead to better code robustness because the type related code has already been checked at compile time. This means the developer can correct any type related errors flagged at compile time before the code is released into the wild. So type related errors are preempted at compile time, which can lead to more robust code executing at runtime. 
and of course, faster execution of that code. So with statically typed languages, you can release code that can potentially perform better at runtime than with dynamically typed code. Statically typed languages can potentially ensure better code robustness because type-related errors are taken care of before code is released into production. The use of dynamically typed languages can potentially have a lower learning overhead and potentially result in faster development times. Python is also known for its easy to read and simple syntax, which can also lead to faster development times. C Sharp is a compiled language and Python is an interpreted language. With an interpreted language, an application's code when running in production is interpreted line by line at runtime, so the code isn't compiled into machine language code before it is released into production. C Sharp code is typically JIT compiled. When C Sharp code is first compiled, it is compiled into CIL code, common intermediate language code. Once the common intermediate language code is running in production, it is JIT compiled or just in time compiled, meaning, for example, when a method is first called, the common intermediate language code is first compiled by .NET's common language runtime JIT service into machine language code before the code is sent to the CPU and subsequently executed. If that same method is subsequently called, that method is already compiled into machine language code and therefore the JIT compiler does not need to compile the method again into machine language code. So the relevant machine language code is sent to the CPU and executed. Ahead of time compilation is also possible in .NET, but this is beyond the scope of this video. The point is that compiled code runs faster than interpreted code. So typically c -sharp code performs better than Python code. Both c -sharp and Python have amazing community support that can provide resources to developers, but c -sharp has the support of Microsoft. Developers can get paid support from Microsoft experts which can be a valuable resource for businesses and developers that require highly dependable support. Python is well known for its versatility, where it is leveraged to develop web applications, data analysis, and machine learning applications, among others. Its extensive libraries and frameworks make it a popular choice for developers working in these fields. Python is very popular in the field of machine learning, where numerous toolkits, libraries, and frameworks can be leveraged. Like, for example, NumPy, SciPy, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Keras. c -sharp is a powerful language that can be leveraged, for example, for game development, web development, enterprise applications, and .NET framework integration. c -sharp's robust performance and integration with Microsoft's platform make it a popular choice for the development of these types of applications. In conclusion... So this video is certainly not a deep dive into C-sharp or Python, but hopefully provides you with an idea of the main similarities and differences between these two popular and versatile languages. Your criteria for choosing between these languages could be based on, for example, personal career aspirations. Perhaps at the moment your criteria is simply being paid the highest possible salary. So you could start by researching salaries paid for programming skills in each of these languages by companies in and around the location where you live. The requirements related to specific projects can also be a criteria for choosing between these languages. So, perhaps you want to develop a SPA application. With the release of .NET 8 this year, 2023, I can certainly recommend Blazor, in which case C-sharp is a great language in which to invest. If you want to, for example, develop 3D games, I highly recommend Unity. c -sharp is Unity's main programming language. For machine learning, Python applications can leverage excellent toolkits, frameworks, and libraries, like, as already mentioned, NumPy, SciPy, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Keras. Perhaps just personal preference is your criteria for choosing between these two languages. You may just love the look and syntax of a particular language. I admittedly have a bias toward c -sharp but can appreciate why Python is also a great choice in many cases. Perhaps you feel that Python is an easier language to learn. So you could start learning Python as your first programming language. And if you want to learn c -sharp later, once you have gained programming experience using Python, the experience gained programming in Python will certainly benefit you when you learn c -sharp. My personal feeling, however, is that c -sharp is also a pretty easy language to learn as a first programming language. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments section what programming languages you prefer. 
and why you choose these programming languages. Should be an interesting discussion. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Please also ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this through my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.